editing the design and layout in the different areas inside of Salesforce. It may seem like a really complicated thing to do, but in this quick video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to edit the layout and also the design of the leads, contacts, accounts, and any other object inside of your Salesforce system. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help with Salesforce setup or training, please check out the link below. We would love to help. So without further ado, as you can see here, I'm on the homepage of our Salesforce system. Now I'm gonna head over to the opportunities just for an example of this video. As you can see here, we have got a few different opportunities. I'm just gonna click into a random one as an example. And as you can see, we've got this layout here. This is the way the whole page looks. So we've got basic information at the top here. We then have the pipeline, um, and then we have the additional information. We've got details, contacts, cases, notes, and files, etc. And then the layout of the actual fields themselves. Now, there are two things that I'm gonna be showing you in this video. Firstly, how to move the different fields about and reposition them and add these kind of like sub titles or, f or s folders, if you will. And I'm also gonna be showing you how to redesign the actual layout and the positioning of these areas. So I'm gonna show you how to move the pipeline up and down, the actual title, so on and so forth, how to reposition things as well. So firstly, I'm gonna show you how to edit the fields. What we need to do is go to the cog in the top right hand corner and then go to the setup page. From here, what we wanna do is go to object manager, which is at the top left hand corner. And given that we're working in the object opportunities, what we need to do is search using the quick find on the top right hand corner or just scroll through and find opportunities. But well, I'm just gonna search op, and as you can see here, the opportunity standard object has appeared. So just click into that for me. And then on the left hand side, we've got a list of different options. We wanna head over to our page layout and we'll have our opportunity layout here. Click into this. It may ask you to open up in Salesforce Classic. So if it does, just go ahead and press the click here to open this page in Salesforce Classic. Give it a moment to load. And as you can see, we are now presented with what appears to be the layout. So first and foremost, what I'm gonna show you is how to reposition fields. It's really, really easy. You can just drag and drop and move one field to a different area of the system. Press save and then we can go back to our opportunities area and you can see here that tier level was originally positioned here. If I now refresh, you can see that it's actually moved to the additional information, okay? So also at the top, you can see where you have got fields that are not actually on the layout at the moment. So in order to add them, all you need to do is just drag them, drop them and position them accordingly. Not only this, but we can also add our sections, like I mentioned, like our folders. We can go ahead and drag a new section onto the page. We can um, give it a name, so I'm just gonna call this example section. We can make it a one column or a two column. If it's two column, you would have fields on both sides. If it's one column, you just have one field that you're able to put on. And then you've got a left to right or a top to down. It's entirely up to you which one you select. Um, and then you can go ahead and press the OK button. Now, once you've created your example section, you can go ahead and drag relevant fields into that section. So let's just put tier level and example field. And because we selected a two as opposed to one, you can add two either side. Go ahead and press quick save. And then if I head back and press the refresh button, we should now see our example section that we've just added, which is kind of like the folder that I mentioned at the start of the video with our two new fields, or not new fields, but repositioned fields. So you can go ahead and edit the page layout all you like, you can make relevant changes. You've got buttons and a few other things that you can add, related lists, so on and so forth. The related lists are these contacts, cases, notes, and files that I mentioned at the start of the video. You can add other related areas. If applicable, as you can see here, you can see what's related. Um, we've got report charts if you wanna add those, ex expanded lookups, mobile and lightning actions. We've got quick actions as well, so you can add a mass update, new contact buttons to the layout as well and also just the buttons area. But primarily, and I think a lot of people will just be focusing on fields, that is the most obvious thing. You can also add blank spaces as well, it's just simply just drag and drop, really, really easy. So once you have done that, you go ahead and press the save button. So that is the field layout. Now, you'll be redirected lightly back to the home page or the actual front end of the Salesforce system. I'm just gonna close this down and then now we're happy with that and we're happy with how our opportunities looked. What we can do is go to the cog in the top right hand corner again and go to setup. And this is how we actually redesign how this page looks in its entirety, okay? So we wanna go ahead and search in the top left hand corner using quick find the lightning app builder. That's what we are looking for. Go ahead and select into lightning app builder. 
And then from here, you may be prompted again to open a Salesforce Classic, depending on the version of Salesforce you're using. So if you are, go ahead and click this option and you'll be presented with a few different layout options as we are working on the opportunity record page. We wanna go ahead and find that and just press the edit on the left-hand side. Now, as you can clearly see, this is the actual layout of the page itself. Now we can reposition whatever we like. We can add reports and all of these other um, standard components. And all you'd need to do is drag and drop it and position it where you'd like to see it. But just to give you an example of how you can change it, we can just drag and drop the pipeline to the top of the page, press the save button, and then go ahead and refresh. And you can see that the pipeline now sits at the top. It's entirely up to you how you wanna position um, your opportunities page. If you wanna go ahead and add all of these components, and unfortunately, as much as I'd like to, I can't go through all of these in this video, but some of the obvious ones might be the list view, for example. Um, we've got the report charts, we've got record detail, and um, we've got the path and the flow as well. So path is already on here, um, a record detail is already on here, we've got the activities here, um, and we also have, this is what's known as the highlights panel as well. So all of the key stuff, but if you do wanna test other options and just drag it and drop it on there, see what it's like, um, and make use of it, you can do. But once you're happy, just press save, and again, go back to the opportunities page or whichever object you are editing, refresh it, and those updates will be represented on here. Hopefully this video has been helpful, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.